Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be trying out a ton of the new Dior Addict Hydrating Shine lipsticks. I picked up six shades of this new formula which I was very excited to try, obviously, as you can tell from the sheer number that I decided to purchase, but it could have been more, to be fair. It could have been way more, trust me. So I'm gonna be giving you all the details, all of the information on these new lipsticks, as well as sharing lip swatches and my initial thoughts with you as always. So without further ado, let's get started. So the Dior Addict Hydrating Shine Lipstick offer you intense color and shine with a vinyl effect, 24 hour hydration and six hour wear. The formula is infused with jasmine floral wax and hydrating properties and enhances the lips in bright and luminous shades with sensational shine and it is also refillable so you have a few options this is the standard case that the lipsticks will come in this is the most affordable option this black shiny case it's very nice it's very pretty it's very dior it's got that gorgeous logo on there and the lipsticks themselves can pull out and click back in very easily, very securely, so they perform exactly as a lipstick, and you pull them out fully and twist up to use them. So they can be used without the case. If you just want to purchase them like this, that is an option. If you purchase the refill, they come with a little cap, so you could just purchase the refill if you don't care about the case and you'll just have this white plastic cap which is a nice solid it's not like the papery ones that you can get say the bond number nine that is actually like cardboard this is plastic a decent plastic to go over the top so you 100% if you just wanted to save some money could buy and store them like this and I imagine they'd survive actually in your handbag as well because it takes a little pull you know they're not slipping straight off so that is some really nice attention to detail so if you purchase is a lipstick with the standard black packaging then that will set you back 33 pounds or 39 dollars you can then just purchase the refills and that will cost you 26.50 or 32 dollars and then there are three cases to choose from which are these extra luxurious extra gorgeous couture lipstick cases and these cost an extra 24 pounds or 28 dollars so in order to buy a refill and then one of the more luxurious cases that's going to be 50 pounds and 50 pence so you have kind of a range of options there you can use the standard black case and have it housed in a solid black lipstick case or you can upgrade a little to the luxurious cases that they are offering or you can just purchase the refills themselves and they each come with their price point so i picked up two of the three available luxury cases there are three to choose from the indigo denim the pink canage or the metallic silver, and that is the only one that I did not pick up, the metallic silver. It just didn't appeal to me as much as these beautiful babies did. I think these packaging is just absolutely gorgeous. I love everything about it. I love how securely the refills click right into the cases and they come out nicely and you can still use them. They still twist up on their own outside of the case. So it doesn't make it impossible to use if you just want to purchase the refill. These silver tubes also, I'm never gonna be able to show you on camera without it not being able to focus or not showing up, but they do have the names of the lipsticks like engraved onto the bullet. So again, very easy to see what you've got if you purchase a lot and have a lot in a drawer. It's very easy to see the names on the actual refill bullet themselves. So there are 39 shades in this new lipstick. 36 of them offer a shiny finish and then there are three glitter finishes. I only picked up the shiny options, but let me tell you, I limited myself to six. I originally purchased two of the lipsticks and fell instantly in love and then went back and ordered more. And honestly, I could order more and more and more. There are so many stunning shades there's reds, there's pinks, there's oranges, there's corals, there is nudes, there's something for everybody and many many of them could have been 
for me and I'm sure I will go back and pick up some more which is a little hint for you about how I feel about these lipsticks. The last thing before we get into swatches is the scent. I know that's super important for lots of people. As usual with these lipsticks I couldn't tell you exactly pinpoint what the scent is but I love it. It's gorgeous. It's almost like a caramel to me, it's just a very beautiful, edible scent. Smells like sweets or toffees or something like that. Not too overwhelming, but you certainly can smell it as you're applying them. So that is all of the information about these lipsticks. Now let's get on with some swatches.
So there you have all of the swatches of the shades that I picked up. Please let me know if you have any favorites. I think for me, the one that actually was really surprising was Diorette, the first shade that I swatched. I just really wasn't expecting, I don't know, to love it as much as I did, uh, but that was absolutely a favorite of mine. I also added Cruise as a sort of last minute thinking, oh, I should put something different in here. I should put something that's kind of a little out of my comfort zone, something more pink and that one blew me away. It's so beautiful, so pretty. So those were kind of the two that really surprised me, but honestly, I loved every shade. And like I said at the beginning, I could easily go back and order 10 more. There's just so many gorgeous shades available in the formula. So now for my thoughts on these lipsticks. I am absolutely in heaven. I love these types of lip formulas. I talk about them all the time. I have a lot of them, these kind of balmy lipsticks with quite a bit of pigment. That's just my jam, especially spring and summer, but typically all year round, I like a really comfortable lip and I love a high shine lip. And these are right up there with my absolute favorites. They may in well become my absolute all time favorites in this category. And there's a few reasons for that. Number one, the color range available is phenomenal. I don't remember seeing this type of formula with that number of shades available before. So I just really appreciate how many options there are. The packaging I think is absolutely stunning and gorgeous. And I'm just really, it just, gives me joy, it really does. The application of these lipsticks I find much easier than many, many of these types of formulas from other brands. I've said it before, there's a lot of these types of lipsticks that are kind of tricky and messy to apply because they, a lot of them have a lot of slip, a lot of pigment and not a very precise bullet. Now these don't have that precise a bullet either. You know, it is a round bullet, which typically I struggle with to make a crisp line to get around the cupid's bow and the corners of my mouth, etc. So I don't know why or how, but I find these the easiest to apply of all of these typical type of lipsticks. Very easy and very quick to get the pigmentation also. I'm not having to build up and up and up to get the color that I want and the color payoff I want. A couple of passes and I've got a full opacity there from the color, which I really like. They just feel incredible on the lips. So hydrating when you first apply them, it just feels so nice. And that really stood out for me. That really felt, quite unique and special about this formula. The, just the feel on the lips is amazing, beautiful, very hydrating and comfortable. And it really does feel nourishing. I think a lot of these kind of balmy lipsticks, they, they say that they're really hydrating and they have hydrating ingredients, but they don't necessarily feel that hydrating and they don't necessarily keep that hydrating feeling for very long. But these do, these feel wonderful. They don't feel very thick, but they also don't feel too thin. They're just perfect. Perfect. Right in the middle, you know, just a nice amount of feeling like you've got something hydrating on your lips without it feeling heavy. They now just feel like I haven't got anything on. Maybe I've got a tiny bit of a small amount of balm on my lips. Otherwise, I can't really feel anything on my lips and they just feel lovely and hydrated and comfortable. The other thing I've found is that they really are very flattering on lines and texture on your lips, just where you have lip lines. It's really sort of smoothing how your lips look look, they look fuller and plumper. There's no plumping sensation in here whatsoever. No tingling, no burning, no cooling. It's just a lovely hydrating feel like a lip mask. It's exactly what it feels like. And it just is the juiciest, glossiest, shiniest, healthiest, youthful looking lips without, you know, going into lip lines or creasing or bleeding or anything like that. It just, I think it looks so flattering on the lips. Now I have had these a few days now, the first two that I ordered, I've been trying for a couple of days and I do find that they wear nicely for these types of lipstick. Obviously they are not transfer proof because they have a shine to them. So, you know, if you use a mug or you kiss someone, there's gonna be some transfer 100%. So you have been warned about that. But at the same time, it's not sort of, you know, have a drink of coffee and it's completely gone off your mouth and it's not smudging and moving around because they have that kind of more, more to them. They're not super sheer and they're not so glossy that they're sort of disappearing and just getting on everything that your lips come into contact with. They just don't have as much slip to them, I think, and as much movement to them. And they are 
are a bit more substantial than some of the thinner, glossier formulas like this. They're just because they have that little more thickness to them and they're more lipstick than they are gloss. They are much better at staying on your lips and staying put and not moving around than some of the glossier versions or the thinner versions of this type of formula. So they aren't super long wearing. Don't expect these to be like fully intact after a three course meal or anything, but there still will be some color on your lips and they also don't stain, which I love as well because I do not want staining on my my lips especially after I tried all of these on it would be a nightmare you know I very easily wipe the swatches off there's a tiny little bit still visible of the darkest one but I didn't really have to try much to get it all off so yeah that is a bonus as well they're not sort of really staying on your lips or staining your lips and throughout the day I just feel like my lips felt much more nourished than they typically do when I've got any kind of lipstick or tinted or colored lip balm on my lips they felt really nice some of these lip balms they claim to be hydrating but you notice throughout the day actually your lips feel drier than if you had just a balm on these literally feel like i've had a lip mask on all day i just think they are so good an absolute instant favorite and like i said i'm just going to keep going back for more and more and more and more shades i also think that a lot of the time these formulas when they come out with like lots of shades they like 20 shades 10 of them look basically the same once you get them on the lips whereas i feel like actually there's noticeable differences with all of the shades i picked even though i'm someone who's drawn to oranges and corals and peaches they actually do look different in the swatches and on your lips so that is a relief to see because a lot of the time that's not the case and I feel like that's not the case with the YSL for example a lot of them are almost indetectable the differences once they're on the lips whereas these actually each shade that I tried look different to the next so there you have it those are all my thoughts on this new Dior Addict hydrating shine lipsticks I am a big fan if you couldn't tell and I would love to know if you've tried these what you think what your favorite colors are or were that you liked on me please let me know in the comment section down below and I'd love to see you in the next one otherwise take care for now bye 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 bye, bye.